so we're taking um, my brother-in-law Alan, his uh, brand new Ridgeline, <laughs> uh, on some real truck business here. Um, we're gonna go through this waste station and dump off some uh, home improvement waste. And I'm just gonna hop out and show you what we've got here. Hey, Alan. <laughs> So it looks like some doors, but there's actually like a 200 pound slab of concrete in between there. Might be a little hard to see. Um, and you can tell with this cool uh, unibody setup here, um, no squat really, I mean a little bit, but it's doing real truck business. It's got a few hundred pounds in the back and uh, bulky waist that we got tied down. We're in this like spooky dystopian place to try to um, dump it off and uh, you know, it's handling great. He drove it in and uh, I can't believe how composed it was with a pretty big load in the back for something like this. This is real truck stuff. Look, hard hat, vest. Love Take that. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is mission accomplished. Yes. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna take a little drive in um, Allen's, uh, is it 2018, 2019? 19. 2019 Honda um, Bridge Line. I've been in these a few times before. Uh, really cool vehicle. Um, I wish I had taken footage, but it was before I was doing car reviews. Uh, I actually took one off-roading too, and it handled surprisingly well. Uh, you saw us on the dump run. We got a little bit dirty. It wasn't off-roading, but you could see that it's, even though what a lot of truck guys say, it's not a real truck. It, it really is. It's a body on frame. I'm sorry. It's a, um, it's a, not a body on frame truck. It is uh, an SUV frame, you know, uh, unibody. Uh, but you know, even though it's more set up for street driving, it's super comfortable and super capable. I'm actually really impressed with it. So we're gonna take a little bit of drive, talk about a few more driving impressions and uh, give you some final thoughts. Check it out. Except for us. That's right. <laughs> it's so weird that I said that. It's so, it's so awesome. <laughs> So we're doing a semi point of view drive here in the ridge line and um, yeah it's a pilot with a bed on it but that's not a bad thing. Um, again um, SUV unibody construction, um, super comfortable driving, uh, it, the suspension is a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say rough but it doesn't like some of the broken pavement. Arby's. Arby's is great. They've got the meats. But you know what, Will? I'm trying to think. I, can do... I think you need to be in the left lane. Take a left? Yeah. Okay. You're right here. Yep, this is it. This left. <laughs> the guy behind me does not like what I just did. Dude, people are just cutting right in front. That's, this is... This is Berlin. It's a free for all. Apparently. Like, you can do anything you want here. Film this. I want to talk to you. Oh, radius. yeah. Right? Turning radius isn't bad. Um, <laughs> I thought I might actually make that. That's neutral. Uh, maybe we should be filming. <laughs> we can edit. Yes, we can. We can in, make it in look post. Like a, we can make it look like I'm a, I'm a good driver. Here we go. <laughs> How's that? Thanks, man. <laughs> Proud of myself. This is our version of comedians and cars getting coffee. The nitro cold brew is glorious. Yeah, it is. It's only one problem. We don't know much about cars and we're not that funny. 
but there's some honey cake that we're not going to eat right now. And the nitro cold brew, glorious, and two dorks. It uh, fits in normal parking spots. We're backing out. And uh, I'll actually pay attention to where I'm supposed to go this time. It's my feet out cars. Thanks. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're getting a little, tiny little bit of highway driving just to wrap things up here. So smooth. Again, very fast and responsive at speed. Six cylinder um, you know, truck. We're not going that fast. <laughs> if there's a semi up here or a box truck or something, see if we can get around that. Just see, see if we get VTEC to come on. Just to feel it. Great highway cruiser. All right, so Alan's gonna tell us what it's like to live with the Ridgeline for what, 6,500 miles-ish? Yeah, 6,000 plus. It's a good truck. And I say that on a critical three, <clears throat> using a scale of one to five, three being middle of the road. It hits all the good spots, but it's not a full mid-sized truck. Never gonna take this off-road. Never gonna do heavy duty stuff with it, but when I need to haul stuff, it can do it. When I need to haul family and other people around, it can do that too. It's got pleasant amenities and comfortable seats inside, but I'm never gonna be in love with this truck. And I'm never gonna truly despise it for what it's not meant to do as a truck because it's, a true <clears throat> utility vehicle yeah doing a little bit of what a honda pilot does doing a little bit what a, a proper mid-size truck can do so it's a good truck but not a great truck perfect that's where i end thanks for sharing movement. yeah thanks i would honestly buy a ridgeline just so i could do this Cause that's awesome it's a nice feature <laughs> additionally the cargo space in here becomes a cooler there's a drain plug drain plug right there so when you're done tailgating all the ice can melt and it's your your travel cooler out of the gate all the time so cool i know that some of them have uh in this part you could have a plug too does yours have that? It's just storage space on this truck. Gotcha. I can't open it one-handed. No way. Storage space is good though. The higher trim line models will have stereo system within the bed. Oh, it's built it built right in, right? This model doesn't have it, but yeah. the higher trim lines do. So you can tailgate and have the music playing through the bed also. That's fun. Yeah. 